So what I do know from your LinkedIn profile that you have is that you help job seekers and career professionals. Correct. Yes. And what stood out was six figures. So tell me a little bit how you got into this line of work. So I actually started uh, in the world of recruiting back in 1996. So unfortunate, well, actually, fortunately, I was fired. But a couple of job seekers that uh, I was working with referred me to a smaller firm mm -hmm. where 10 years into me being a recruiter, that's where I thought of, of what today is known as the eight step job search system that I coach and train and teach my clients. And then the next one is, is this whole innocence, which is connected back even to here, right? Like the whole useful and the bliss. And it says, trigger, I have so much to do. True statement, I am playful. It says, let the burdens of responsibility go in this moment and look at your world with the eyes of a child. Now, what would you like for your clients that you have right now? And explaining that from the eyes of a child. You know, that is so amazing that you pick on that child subject and that is because when I part of my coaching actually talks about childhood of course it does. and the reason that it talks about childhood is that people get into these jobs mm -hmm. these positions that they don't enjoy and so when I'm asking them well, let's, you know, when you were a child, when you were growing up, what did you, enjoy, what were your hobbies? What did you enjoy to do? What were some of your passions? Did you like, did you like trains, planes, and automobiles? Because if that, if once we uncover what those subjects or items or areas were, but you're working for an organization that has nothing to do with your passion and mission and vision, and you're in a role that maybe is good money, but you absolutely hate it, this is the root of your unhappiness. And so we need to unravel all of these things. Of course, you know, it I goes back to the theme, the last car that was sitting here was waiting is acceptance and it says on a trigger we must remember and it says the true statement i am free of the habits that do not serve me lay down the armor because mm. uh -huh. lay down the armor pass down to you from your family release habits that are not serving you and forgive on behalf of generations past so it's like embracing the future and accepting but like you said 